Hello students, I am Mr. Sandeep here. In our subject Advanced Manufacturing Processes, we have started the chapter Unconventional Machining Processes. And in this chapter of Unconventional Machining Processes, we have started various processes under various energy involved. So, in previous sessions, we have discussed the mechanical energy based processes and in just previous session we have discussed the process that is electro discharge machining and electro discharge machining process is based on electrical energy involved so what happens in electro discharge machining so in the electro discharge machining what happens when we provide the electricity due to this electricity after some time when the breakdown voltage will reach what happens your break, breakdown liquid will be ionized or in simple words your dielectric medium will be break down so after that what happens spark will be generated and due to this spark your metal will melt or in other words you can remove your metal by melting and vaporization so the principle is spark erosion right so in today's session we are going to discuss on various things based on electro discharge machining right like spark generating circuits advantages and disadvantages and application for electro discharge machining process so before this here i mention one topic that is important for electro discharge machining and that is flushing so what happens in flushing so in the flushing what happens what do you mean by flushing flushing is nothing but it is very important in electro discharge machinery so as per our discussion dielectric fluid is used in flushing or say dielectric fluid is used in this process and that's why flushing is required for this dielectric fluid so in simple words what do you mean by flushing Flush means to carry away or say to flow the liquid away from some particular zone, right? So flushing is important of dielectric fluid. So what is the purpose of dielectric fluid? We have discussed in earlier session. Dielectric medium works as an insulating material or insulating medium. So here spark generation is very intense when you use the dielectric fluid. So, what is important? What happens when we supply the electricity and spark will generate? What happens due to this spark? Your material will melt and remove from this zone. So, what happens? This material will suspend, or so this material is present near this zone of tool and workpiece. So, it is very important to keep away this material or say so scrap or say so debris from this zone so that there will be nothing or say there will be nothing in between of your tool and workpiece so what happens when some scrap or small material particles will be in in between of tool and workpiece it will reduce the spark intensity so it is not desirable so always the removed scrap or workpiece particles will keep away or say our purpose is to keep away this type of small material or scrap or particles from the machining zone so it is always important to flush this dielectric or say continuously start or say circulate the dielectric so for that here i mentioned the pressure flushing after that suction flushing is also there and side flushing so it is uh, as per our discussion it is a simple circulating mechanism that is important because what happens if the your particle or say your material scrap will come in between your uh, workpiece or say in your tool and workpiece in between what happens your spark will not be generated in proper intensity that's why it is important to circulate your dielectric medium continuously so filter is required for this in the filter your scrap or debris will be separated and your pump is used for circulating this liquid so as per this concept pressure flushing after that suction flushing is there in suction flushing your dielectric medium will be sucked in upward direction in pressure flushing it is from upward to downward direction and in the side flushing i mentioned the top view so in the side flushing your dielectric medium will be 
circulated in when we see from the top view we, uh, we can uh, understand this side flossing so your your material or say your dielectric liquid will be circulated from left side to right side that is by side right so that's why it is known as a side flossing so the basic concept behind this theory is just to flush or say to circulate your dielectric liquid continuously that is very important right so after that here we are discussing the various spark generating circuits so why this is important because in the electro discharge machining spark generation is very important and how can we generate the spark so for that here different electrical circuits are used so here i mentioned the types of circuits and mechanisms used for spark generation so here i mentioned the rc circuit so as per the name here resistance is there or the resistor is there and capacitance or the capacitor is there right so based on resistance capacitance concept the spark is generated so what happens when you start the electricity or when you switch on the current what happens the current will start flowing from the resistance and it will start to flow in the capacitor right so after that what happens the charging is done of this capacitor so after some time when certain charging level will reach what happens the spontaneous energy will be released from this capacitance and here what happens due to this spark will be generated because spark is nothing but it is bundle of energy so spark is generated when uh, current will be discharging from this charge capacitance right so again the capacitor will be discharged and uh, this cycle will repeat right so this circuit is known as a RC, rc circuit that is resistance capacitance circuit as mentioned here after that rcl circuit is also used so for uh, from the concept of electrical rcl circuit is also used here the main problem is the charging time of this capacitance to overcome this here inductance is used or inductor is introduced in this circuit so that your charging time will be reduced right after that so the main problem of rc and rcl circuit is the low material removal rate right so to overcome this uh, rotary type of pulse generator circuit is generally used right so in this circuit here i mentioned the current is discharged uh, from the diode so here i mentioned the circuit and but our purpose is just to understand how spark is generated so with help of different types of mechanism you can generate the spark right so here also capacitor is charged through this diode and after that in the first half cycle charging will be done and after in the next half cycle when the voltage is applied what happens the charge or say your spark will be generated when the discharge cycle is there right so this is how spark generating mechanism works right after that here i mentioned the tool wheel so what do you mean by tool wheel so tool is nothing but it is a electrode or say it is a material or it is the a tool is used for spark generation so tool is nothing but it is a thing used for spark generation right so metallic or non metallic tools both type of tools are used so here as per our discussion what do we mean by tool wheel so a tool wheel is nothing but it is a ratio of volume removed from your workpiece or work material to the volume removed from your tool material right so here it is very important there will be no physical contact between your tool and workpiece but due to the spark generation the little amount of tool wear is present but it is very less so here i mentioned for different type of electrode or tool material tool wear digit is mentioned here like 2 to 1 5 to 1 etc right so for the brass electrode generally 1 to 1 it means your material removed from the tool is higher it means the material removed from the tool is higher so after that here i mentioned the digit for copper also so when you use the copper electrode the ratio wear ratio is 2 to 1 it means your uh, uh, volume removed from the work piece is higher it means it is desirable so uh, this digit indicates how hard your material is or say how material or say in which amount material will be wear off from your tool right so this ratio is known as a tool or a wear ratio right so these are the basic things that you should consider in electro discharge machining thank you all of you